Okay, now that you've had the opportunity to practice determining whether digits are significant figures, we're going to apply those to running calculations. Now there are two different rules for calculations with sig figs. The first rule is for adding and subtracting, and the second rule is for multiplying and dividing. So let's deal with adding and subtracting first. And before I get into the rule itself, I'd like to remind us of two key concepts. The first is that a calculated answer can never be more precise than the numbers that go into the calculation. And the second key concept is it is the rightmost or the last significant figure that tells us how precise a number is. So with that in mind, here's the rule for adding and subtracting. Our calculated answer may only have the most precise decimal place of the least precise number that is used in the calculation. So again, the calculated answer may only have the most precise decimal place of the least precise number that is used in the calculation. So here I have three examples, and this should say example C right here. Here I have three examples, and in each of these examples I have an addition problem. So I'm going to use this rule for each of these calculations. Take a look at example A. For example A, notice that the most precise decimal place for this number is the ones column because it has a sig fig in the ones position. That's also the case for the second number. Its most precise decimal place is the ones column, which means that my answer here can only have a precision out to the ones column. It cannot be more precise than that. If I were to do this in my calculator or in my head, I would get 11 as my answer. And notice that these are both sig figs, and the rightmost or most precise sig fig is in the ones column, which follows my rule. So in this case, that is not only the mathematically correct answer, but it is also the scientifically significant answer. Let's move on to example B. This one is a little bit more complicated. Let's look at where these sig figs are. Here's a sig fig, here's a sig fig, and that, according to our rules, is not a sig fig. So the most precise decimal place for this number is the tens column. For these, for this number, all three digits are sig figs, and therefore its most precise digit is in the hundredths column. And remember our rule, our answer can be no more precise than the least precise of these, and that's defined by where the sig fig is, the rightmost sig fig. So, the most precise decimal place of the least precise number is in the tens column. Therefore, our answer can only be reported out to the tens place. Now, if I plug this calculation in, to a calculator, that would be the mathematically correct answer. But remember, your calculator is not a scientist. Your calculator is a mathematician. So we have to apply our scientific intuition and our rules to determine what is the scientifically appropriate, scientifically significant answer. Because this needs to be rounded to the tens place, I take a look at the digit after that, and because it's under less than 5, this rounds down to a 0. So my scientifically significant answer is 170. Now some students look at this and they see this is very strange. I have 170, I add 2.46, and my answer is 170. Yes, that's correct. Although it is not the mathematically correct answer, 
because we were not certain about this number right here, out to the ones column, therefore my answer cannot be reported any more precisely than the tens column. And so all of this information, starting with the ones column, and more precise than that, I cannot include it. Therefore, 170 is the scientifically significant answer. Final example, C. Here I have two numbers. I'm just going to quickly identify my sig figs in each number using my rules. Remember, these are leading zeros and they don't count as sig figs. Now, applying my rule for addition and subtraction, the most precise decimal place of the least precise number. Well, this number is precise out to the four places past the decimal. We would say that's out to the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Place. This number is only precise out to the tens or tenths, hundredths, thousandths place. So this number is least pre less precise, and so my answer can be reported only out to the most precise position of that least precise number. So my answer, therefore, is going to be reported out to the thousandths place. Now if I plug this into my calculator, this is the answer that I would get, 1.0485. That is the mathematically correct answer. But scientifically significant answer would only be reported out to the thousandths place because the next digit is a five or greater, that eight is rounded up, and therefore the answer that I should report, 1.049, the scientifically significant answer. And there you have it.